Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Publisher allows you to insert various shapes into your pages. Click the Shapes button in either the Objects group of the Home tab or the Illustrations group on the Insert tab within the ribbon. So under the Home tab, we'll see in the Objects group over here the Shapes button, or under the Insert tab in the Illustrations group, we also see the shapes here, either one. You can then view a drop-down menu of all the various shapes that you can insert when you click it. Roll your mouse pointer over the shape that you want to insert, and then click it to select it. For example, a cube. Your mouse pointer will appear as a black crosshair when you place it back over the slide. Decide where you want the shape to appear in your page, and then click and drag across the area in the page where you want the selected shape to appear. It will be inserted into your page when you release your mouse button. Now you have a few techniques available for you to use that can assist you in creating your shapes. For example, you can hold down the shift key as you click and drag while drawing in order to create a perfect version of the selected shape. For example, holding down the shift key when drawing lines will make the line perfectly straight. You can create perfect circles and squares by simply using this method in conjunction with either the oval or rectangle shape as needed. We'll go ahead and delete that shape. Now if you don't care about setting the size of the shape as you insert it, then you can actually use a different method to insert a selected shape. Using this method, you will start by selecting the shape from the ribbon using the Shapes button as you normally would. So we'll go back up here and select a different shape this time. After you do that, you hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, and then you simply click once at the place in the page where you want to position the upper left corner of the shape. Publisher will insert the shape with a default size into the position at which you clicked. Just like that. Once you've inserted a selected shape into your page, your mouse pointer returns to its default behavior and you exit Publisher's Drawing Mode. However, sometimes you may want to draw several of the same shapes without having to go back and reselect the same shape from the Shapes button over and over again. In this case, you may want to lock Publisher into its drawing mode as you select your desired shape from the Shapes button drop-down menu. To do this, simply right-click on the shape that you want to draw in the drop-down menu instead of clicking on it. So we'll go back up here into Insert, and again from Illustrations this time, select our shapes, and this time we'll right-click. Then from that pop-up menu that appears, click the Lock Drawing Mode command. And now you can return to your page and draw as many instances of the selected shape as you wish. So I can over and over again, like that. You can cancel the Drawing Mode lock by pressing the Escape key on your keyboard. When you draw a shape, the shape should appear as being already selected. However, if it's not selected, then you need to click it in order to select it prior to resizing, moving, or formatting the shape. So you can just come down and give it a click to select it. Once the shape's been selected, you'll see the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab appear up in the ribbon, up here. Now this tab provides you with formatting options for the selected object, and we'll examine how to do that in the upcoming lessons. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.